with a reaction to this new Billie Eilish single, Your Power. It's going to be up on the TND Streams channel, youtube.com slash TND Streams. A link down below. Hey, go check it out. Go check it out. And hey, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the cheer. Appreciate it. So uh, from what we know so far, Happier Than Ever, title of the new record, second full-length album. Uh, this is going to be the third song that we have heard from this forthcoming album because two of her other recent uh, teasers ended up on the record, including uh, Therefore I Am. So uh, uh, again, Your Power is going to be the third. Um, after already having heard the three tracks, I'm really not sure what direction this record is going to be going in. But uh, we will, uh, at least for me, I will listen to this again. I'll listen to it for the first time with you guys. Uh, so you'll get kind of a reaction from me live here, obviously. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, give it a shot and see what direction her and Phineas are going in with this new cut, Your Power by Man. Well, there you go. Billie Eilish, Your Power, brand new track. Um you know, I, I saw the uh, the poll said uh, they loved it. Very positive ratio. Was it like 80, 70? I mean, it seemed like a lot of people really messed with it. Um, believe it or not, I'm kind of mild on this track. And and I've been a, a, a Billy supporter at least since the debut, which I know is not a long time. But, you know, it's it's something to note considering just how much like negativity that album was getting for just like totally bullshit reasons. Um I guess I'll break it down in two sort of categories here because there are things I like about this track and there are things that I don't. What I like the most about this cut is really the themes of the lyrics and the thoughts that were put into the lyricism. I think over the past uh, decade in the age of social media, there's just been this ongoing reckoning when it comes to uh, power dynamics, especially in the entertainment industry. Um, and various kinds of power dynamics, honestly. I mean, there's that uh, recent situation going on with uh, uh, Congressman Matt Gates, and he's uh, uh, tied up in a, uh, apparently uh, paying uh, 17-year-olds for you-know-what. So, uh, so anyway, um, <laughs> so this track is very much about those abuses of power, those abuses of influence, and uh, directly using that power to uh, squeeze whatever you want out of somebody and uh, the world kind of crashing down on you once you're caught. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, I, I think that's an important story to tell in this age. And I think there aren't enough songwriters kind of approaching this topic uh, as directly as Billy is on this particular track. There's really no, you know, sort of like secret as to what this song is about. You know what I mean? Um, so, uh, uh, and that's actually a good point, the Phoebe Bridgers comparison. I, I know that Billy and Phineas and especially Billy's dad messes with Phoebe Bridgers. And there is kind of like a Phoebe Bridgers type vibe to this track for sure. Um, but with that being said, as much as I like the tune and I think the guitar lines toward the um, end and the beginning of the track are really good. Uh, but outside of that, though, I think the song is kind of bland. You know, I think Billy's vocals don't really go far enough in terms of emotional delivery and vocal range. I think that production wise, it's just a little too thin and skeletal, uh, even though I understand they really want the vocal spotlight and they want the message to get across. I don't think, you know, uh, that would have been taken away if there were some added layers or subtleties or instrumental embellishments, honestly. Um, again, just in terms of like raw instrumentation, I think it's a very plain, underwhelming song. Um, at the core, I think the tune is good. I like the sentiment of the track quite a bit, but to me, this sort of feels like something that you would take and then build upon at some point. Um, to me, it just doesn't really feel like instrumentally the track just goes far enough. So, uh, on that end, uh, I am sort of underwhelmed by it. I'm just kind of let down by it. But um, I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the record pans out. Um, as I was saying, uh, I really did enjoy that Therefore I Am track. And um, also, uh, there was that uh, other single that dropped that had more of a dance pop feel to it that I wasn't too crazy about. So, you know, the teasers, um, kind of all over the place for me so far. One that I love, this one I think is okay. Uh, the other one I'm really just not into at all. So this new record could really kind of go anywhere. 
I, I guess we'll see. So those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. Thank you very much for watching this New Music Friday stream clip over on TND Streams. To see future New Music Fridays, hit up our Twitch page at twitch.tv slash the needle drop. To see some past ones, hit up our Patreon page linked near me or down below in the description. Also get some bonus monthly content in the process too over there. And yeah, see you guys in the next clip forever.